What will you do if someday you woke up and you see your computer is not starting? I think you don't want to face this situation, right? Nevertheless, if someday this happens, then what will you do? Don't worry, I have covered you. What's up guys? This is Anurag back with another video. So guys, as you saw in the beginning of this video, I am going to show you some basic troubleshooting steps to do when your computer is not working. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. First, we'll discuss some scenarios that will help to understand your problem and solution of the problem. The first scenario is your CPU is starting, means its power indicator light is glowing but nothing showing in your monitor. In this case, first you should check the power, whether the power is coming to your monitor or not. If not, then check the other sockets or check by replacing cable. It should solve your problem. The second scenario here is your CPU is starting but in your monitor showing no signal. In this case, you should first check the numlock LED on your keyboard is glowing or not. If glowing means your computer is running. Here we will need to check two things. First is the video out and second VGA slash HDMI cable. First check your VGA or HDMI cable is correctly connected or not. If connected, remove and reinstall it back. If this does not solve your problem, check whether it breaks somewhere or not or check with other cables. If your cable is having no issue, then if you have installed the graphics card, then try to remove the graphics card and clean the PCI Express slot where the graphic card connects and reinstall it back. And also remove the RAM and clean the RAM slot and also clean the RAM contacts with the help of eraser and reinstall it back and then try to start the PC. If this not solve your problem, then you can try this next. If possible, remove the motherboard. But before unplugging everything, I would suggest you to take a snap of the motherboard. That way, while reconnecting the cables, it will very easy to connect it back. Because sometimes I have seen cleaning and refixing everything back solve most of the issues. And also if you have old Intel motherboards, then sometimes if your CMOS battery is dead, that will also cause the no display. So check your CMOS battery and replace if required. But if this does not work for you, then don't blame me because your motherboard might be having some other issues. So if you want, then you can try your luck before giving to an expert. Now here another scenario is when your computer is not starting and it gives beep. So in this case, you can simply understand the issue by the beep codes. One common beep code is 3 beeps. In this beep, your RAM is faulty or there is issue between contact of the RAM and motherboard. So there is different beep codes for different issues. So you can find this beep code for your system. For example, if you have an Intel motherboard, then you can search the beep code on manufacturer's website. Now let's move on to the next scenario where your monitor is working but your CPU is not. Here the first thing you should check from power. If it is fine then move on to the next step. For that remove the CPU cover then locate the power indicating LED on your motherboard. Most of the motherboard has power indicator LED. So check if it is glowing or not. If it is glowing means your PC is getting power. Then you can try to turn on the CPU by bypassing the power button. For that, locate your power button cable, then remove it from the motherboard. Then short the two pins where the cable is connects with the help of any metal object like your screwdriver. If your PC starts by doing this, then you may need to replace the button or you can do one hack. You can swap the restart button to the power button and then you can start the PC with the help of restart button. So that will solve your purpose. And if your motherboard power indicating LED is not glowing, or by shorting the pins of the motherboards not solve the issue then you can try to reinstall your power supply and then try to start the machine. If this also not solves your issue then your power supply might be having some issues. You can check the power supply by shorting two wires. In order to do that first remove all the connection of the power supply then locate this 24 pin connector and we'll need to short green and the black cables. You can do this with the help of one wire. Just insert the cable green and black cable like this. 
by doing this or by shorting the wires pinch the power supply fan then the chances of your power supply might not have any issue if you have additional working pc then you can swap the power supply and cross check it if you don't have one then you have to submit the desktop to the expert or if your fan is not spinning by shorting the pins then your power supply is dead in this case you can simply purchase the same rating power supply and replace by it your own it should solve your problem and i think i have discussed most of the hardware issue if you want then i can make video on software issues if i miss something in this video then do let me know in the comment section below well that is it for today's video if this video is helpful to you then please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel because many more videos like this are really coming soon on the channel thank you guys for watching this has been anurag and i will see you later guys